hello everyone and welcome again to our channel in today's video we will write a prologue program to find out the maximum number okay let's begin with it let's say we need to find out the prologue version download it on our computer okay here it is SWA prologue now the console of prologue has been opened now we need to write a new file and for writing this file we will go to file menu and from here we can select the new so here we have the folder we have where we I am storing other prologue files so I can name the new one as uh, let's say maximum of number dot pl pl is the extension for prologue file and we should always save the prologue file with this extension okay now it is saved here now the file is open initially it is empty and we need to create here a function to find out the maximum of a number okay let's say we name that function as max and here we have to do an initiated variable y x and y okay This is the head part of this function now so this function will find the maximum number of x and y okay first condition if x is equal to y in that case we write down this is the format for displaying string on the console of prologue okay we write both are equal now we use semicolon it means that this function is still continue it's not end up yet the second condition it can be that x is greater than y In this case, we use another variable that is uninitiated and we provide it with the value of x. So that is x, this comma, semicolon still, semicolon will still continue. And else, if they are not equal, if x is not greater than y, it means that definitely y is greater than x. So we assign z is y and we write as we I said earlier in the other videos that the prologue is a case sensitive language so we should be careful while writing keywords okay that and here we are have end up over this prologue file Let's have another check quickly. Everything fine over here. Okay. Let's close it. Now here we are on the console of prologue and we need to connect to that file. But as we can do this manually, we can write address of the file location over here, or we can do it through console. Here we have maximum number of PL. We have selected it. Open up this an error operator spec it there somewhere okay let's open it again here is this file so this one is saying that this place we have an error so it means we need an operator over here Uh, 
here is x and here actually I should have written the step date pass right z and then s now let's run it again again we are on the console of prolog go to consult and let's click on this so now everything is fine okay let's see is it working fine or not we need to give two different values to our function let's say two and five and we always terminate our instructions with a full stop true so it's showing that five is greater than two okay let's write another two different values okay let's make it 42 and five just be placed get a number at different location to see is it working in both ways or not yeah 42 is the maximum number if you want to see the second number we can just uh, use a semicolon uh, here we have the second number that was compared with the first one five let's see another example let's make it let's say minus two and this one is one fifteen okay let's say fifteen yeah 15 is better so our program is working fine okay thanks thanks for watching this video